Good morning, degenerates. This video log is in session. What's going on, guys? We have it today at February 22nd, 2012. 22212. What's going on? Um, big day today, right? Oh my god, today is like, what are we gonna do? It's the Guild Wars 2 beta sign up. Everyone's like, go to the beta sign up. We got to do this shit right now, motherfucker. And people are like all signing up for the beta and everyone's going crazy. Yesterday, Guild Wars 2 announced that they were going to have like some sort of, you know, big thing today, some big announcement. Everyone's like, yeah, obviously, we know it's going to be the fucking beta. There's nothing else they could possibly like announce. Oh, we have cherry flavored stuff and or whatever. And um, uh, speaking of cherry, we'll get, we'll get into cherry flavored stuff. In a bit, but uh, Guild Wars 2 beta sign up is out now. Uh, apparently, you cannot sign up under multiple emails, maybe under the same IP, because I signed up under like Roberto at TGN.TV, and I also signed up uh, under Console Crusader at gmail.com, and I only got a response to Roberto at TGN.TV saying, you know, thank you for signing up for the beta. So apparently, it's only taking uh, it's only taking one uh, at the moment, one whatever you want to call it, one beta sign up or one email per IP. I don't know. guess I'll go over to Lula's computer and sign up there, too. <laughs> sign up as much as you can! Uh, it's a pretty simple process. I'll put the link down in my uh, description um, to the beta sign up. All it does is uh, it installs this uh, executable to uh, scan your computer to see exactly uh, what your computer specs are. And it sends it off to the Guild Wars 2 website, and then it refreshes and goes and starts the actual sign-up. And the sign-up is pretty easy, like, do you have a guild? What's your guild name? How many people are in your guild? How'd you hear about us? Uh, your address? Th and that's pretty much it. And then just submit. I, it it would have been nice if they would have had, like, a, a comment section so that you can actually, like, you know, make some nice comments. Say, hey, maybe I'm Tally from Twitch, blah, 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 blah. You know, kind of, like, present yourself as the reason is why you think you should have a beta more than anyone else. But that's what a beta is for. It's to give, you know, the game access to different kinds of people. I'm pretty sure that some of those uh, people with really bad computers that were generated from that program, that scanned your computer, they're probably going to be picked to play the game. That way Guild Wars 2 can figure out, well, if this, how is this guy doing playing on, like, you know, uh, a 460 or 260 GTX NVIDIA card compared to someone who's playing on a 580 GTX? How is this guy doing playing on an i3 compared to this guy playing on an i7? You know, so they're definitely going to pick a lot of people with uh, not too good of an optimized computer to see, I guess, where their limits are. Because, you know, not, not everyone has, like, a crazy high-powered computer, right? Not everyone can play the best games out there on high uh, ultra settings. People have to lower it to medium, high, low, and uh, we're gonna see. But um, the beta sign up is today, so run and go for the for the beta. Everyone, go, go right now while I'm talking. Look at me. I'm just kidding. Um, yesterday was a pretty interesting day. Um, uh, a lot of videos came out for Guild Wars 2, and uh, I, I, I mean, at first when the closed beta or the press beta was being done. Um, they were only posted like about 20 videos. I refreshed it today and it's like, holy sh or yesterday, I was like, holy shit. Now there's like over a hundred videos out there. I'm really liking the Guardian in Guild Wars 2. When, um, there was a video, I forgot who made it. It wasn't like even Cursed Gaming. It was just like, some guy who was looking at all the skills per weapon, uh, for Guild Wars 2 for a Guardian. And almost like every word of the skills were like block, shield, absorb damage, you know, target, this person, help them, shield them. So I think Guardian, e e even though there is no Trinity system, and everyone in Guild Wars 2 can play a role of a healer, DPS, or tank, there's still going to be classes that I think are going to be able to tank better than others. When you look at the weapon skills for Guardian, it's full. It's just all tanking abilities. It's all tanking abilities, offensive powerful abilities, like armor shielding, uh, absorption, everything. It's like just, for each weapon, it's just all like like tank abilities where as if you look at a, a warrior or something you know like theirs is different so I think guardians are probably the best tank for the game even though they could do everything uh, from what I hear like you, you could be in a dungeon you could be the main tank in a dungeon you can die and then someone else could just put on a sword and a shield and then take over and do what you were doing you know so I don't know I'm going to probably start with a guardian that's probably going to be my first thing 
I'm probably going to be like a type 8 guardian. And we're going to see what happens. Um, but uh, Mesmer looks fucking OP. It's like a caster ma- two-handed melee f- of fuck your face, man. It's like it's like a rep paladin. It's like a rep. It's like a rep paladin times a hundred. They were like doing so much damage. But I've, I've only looked at warrior mesmers and guardians. I haven't looked at uh, any of like the range classes because I really don't play them. But um, I was wondering. I was asking people in my live stream the other day. Should I play Guild Wars one to learn more about Guild Wars two? And apparently, like everyone's like no. But I think I'm still going to play Guild Wars one on my on my own time. Just to see what the game is like from, you know, because people saying that there are elements in Guild Wars 2 that are still in Guild Wars 1. But uh, right now the tweets are going crazy. People are tweeting each other, Guild Wars 2 sign up, Guild Wars 2 sign up, go sign up. Um, let's see, what else? Yesterday was interesting because it was Tuesday, it was reset day. Um, my girlfriend uh, decided that her and her friends were going to make special lollipops. You know how sometimes there's special brownies and cookies? Well, they were like, oh, we're going to make the special stuff into lollipops. And I was like, you've got to be joking. I'm like, there's no way that you can make special lollipops. You know, like, that that almost sounds too good to be true. And I was like, whatever. You know, I, I always try something once in my life to see if uh, it kills me or not. Just kidding. Just to see, you know, what it does. And I tried it. I had the lollipop. I was just sucking on a lollipop, sucking on a lollipop, sucking on a lollipop. It was there. Mm-mm-mm. Having a good time on the lollipop. All of a sudden, you know, I'm done eating the lollipop. I'm chewing on the little white thing. You know, after you eat a lollipop, the white stick is left over. You start chewing on the white stick. You know, and then you throw it out. 20 minutes later, my girlfriend asked me, do you feel anything? I'm like, no. 20 minutes after that, 40 minutes later, do you feel anything? No, I don't feel shit. An hour later, no, I don't feel nothing. About an hour and a half later, it was like, boom, like a Mack truck, man. I was like this in my chair, and as I was still like this, the rest of my body was moving around the entire room at a rate of like 100 miles an hour. It's the fastest I've ever moved in my life, and I wasn't even fucking moving. And it was fucking, I, I, I had to, I lay down, I... And this was half an hour before an hour before I was supposed to live stream. I went to my bedroom. I passed out till like three thirty, three forty five until raid had to start. Luckily I was able to live stream and I and I put in my uh my ten hours of live streaming yesterday. I went from about I went from uh three forty five in the afternoon till about two in the morning. So I was still able to, you know, give people the uh the good old uh quality time that they uh, deserve from good old Tally. Uh I know people are mad because you know in August and July, I was live streaming 16 hours a day. But, you know, like I said, once again, it, it can get unhealthy if you do it too long in a day. Like, 10 hours a day is like a normal desk job for, you know, almost any programmer. I mean, some programmers, developers, they work more than 10 hours a day. They work like 15, 14. And uh, eventually, you know, sometimes you get stressed out. Sometimes you get like, you know, you get tired, you get burned out. Like, for me, that's not really the case. For me, it's like almost like, you know, uh, it's like a health issue, you know? There's so many things that can happen while you're sitting in a chair all day gaming. You know, you can, you can build up blood clots that you don't know of. You know, you, you, you could just become, like, just totally unhealthy. Like, your body chemistry changes. So, I mean, in the past, like, two months, I've only been live streaming between 10 and 12 hours a day. But that's been enough for the public. The public is enjoying themselves. Everyone's been enjoying themselves at Tally's HD Gaming. Uh, sub Sundays have been like so much fun. We're up to like 1,200 subscribers now. Like we've gone up 200 in the past month. We've gone up 400 in the past month and a half. It's totally crazy, man. But uh, you know, I've seen other live streamers out there who have become sick because they streamed way too much every day. Like there were some live streamers out there that I know personally who were live streaming like 20 hours a day, 20 hours a day, and then they just got really sick. You know, they they got sick. They built up back problems. And all, and, and they didn't even take breaks or anything. For me, now, I've been, you know, I've been going, I've been live streaming like every three hours and then taking like a quick five minute break. Three hours, quick five minute break. You know, walk around, get some fresh air, step outside, get some water, you know. So it, I, I'm trying to, to kind of balance, you know, health and live streaming as much as I possibly can, you know. Yeah, we order pizza every now and then, but that's because we want it. What can I say? I had the munchies yesterday. But we had a quick clear. We had a quick clear in uh, in uh, Dragon Soul. We did six of eight in about like 
two hours. And uh, now we're back to working on spine. Uh, hopefully tonight we'll knock off that second plate in spine, head to the third plate, and uh, end this fucking bastard, and then start working on madness. And uh, madness is coming pretty soon, uh, hopefully next week. Um, we did Star Wars Raid, yes, I still play Star Wars. Oh my god, Tommy, did you quit WoW for Star Wars, Star Wars, or WoW, Terra for WoW, Star Wars, Terra for Star Wars, WoW, do you want to? Uh, yeah, uh, Star Wars I'm still playing, uh, even though I'm not PvPing on like, you know, at all. I'm, uh, I'm still raiding, uh, we did Nightmare Mode, um, Annihilator, Gnarl, whatever his name is, uh, the Pillar Boss, or the Pillar Puzzle Boss in Eternity Vault, and, uh, the Council. So now we're gonna start working on, uh, Nightmare Mode, Soa. And those were all server first 16 man, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, we're going to do SOA 16 man nightmare mode tonight. Uh, that should be interesting. Uh, hopefully we can down it tonight and get you know start working on Karaga's Palace. Uh, I think if we don't, I think if we don't down, um, if we don't down SOA tonight on nightmare mode in about the first two hours of raid, I think we're just going to switch over to Karaga's Palace and uh, get some more gear for people, and then come back to SOA by the end of the week. But, uh, yeah, uh, great day yesterday, PVE rating. Today's gonna be spine and then it's solo progression. Can't wait. I mean, any type of day where I get to do progression is amazing. Uh, this past weekend, Sub Sunday, uh, was pretty awesome. We did, um, uh, Half Life, EverQuest, Realm of the Mad God, which was like this simple, like, 2D gauntlet type game. And so I have the sniffles like crazy this morning. And, um,. We played that, and then the next day, it ended up being available on Steam as a release for the first time ever. I was like, yeah, that was my live stream that did that. Uh, Rumble the Mad God, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, Twisted Metal, Forsaken World RPG, pretty awesome RP uh, not, uh, MMO RPG. You should, like, check it out. It's a great MMO. Um, what else did we play? Team Fortress Classic. I don't know what else. People will remember what else I played. But uh, it was a pretty exciting Sub Sunday, and it seems like Sub Sunday is one of those things that people are really, really like embracing nowadays. You know, people like uh, people are real are knowing that I'm doing it because I I just put in the title Subscriber Sunday. Subscribers choose the games that I play, and people just flock in. We had like two thousand people watching me play EverQuest. I was like, I can't even get that like while I'm raiding anymore. While I'm raiding, I get like fifteen hundred. That's like the norm now. That's like my concurrent uh, views. Uh, my concurrent views have actually gone up uh, overall um, since October, even though we had the big spike, spikes really mean nothing, like when I get a big spike in views, in viewers, that only happens for a few days, and even though those few days you make like a really good amount of money, it doesn't matter, like what matters is the concurrent viewers throughout the entire month, and like I think this month we're averaging something like 1,400, 1,550 concurrent viewers the entire month, and that's an amazing number to have, and um... Yeah, it, it, it's kind of funny how during EverQuest, I had 2,000 viewers. Two weeks before that, Hello Kitty, 2,200 viewers. I was like, are you shitting me? Hello Kitty Island Adventure, I get the most views. But then I play something cool like Left 4 Dead or fucking Twisted Metal. It's like 1,200, 1,300. I was like, god damn it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, the computer's doing great. Um, I just got, uh, hold on, uh, nose pick, where is it? Uh, there it is. Yeah, Aver Media uh, contacted me. Aver Media, uh, they work with uh, capture devices. They work with uh, capture devices, kind of like the uh, Black Magic Intensity Pro. And they contacted me, and they said that they liked my video on uh, the um, on XSplit and how I set up their Aver Media P PVR. So now I'm going to be doing a review for them for uh, the Aver Media. Uh, game Broadcaster HD. This is the same card that I've been using, uh, that I've been trying to use to get both of my PCs working for live streaming, but it hasn't worked out so well. But uh, tonight, I'm going to give it one more try to try to hook up both PCs. If that doesn't work, I'm obviously going to do a review, a review on this based on just one computer. Because the way that they want people to do this is they want to see how this puppy can capture... Uh, PlayStation 3 and 1080p games on like the Xbox and stuff. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. I can't wait for that. So this is the Aver Media HD game broadcaster. We're gonna be trying that out. Uh, you're gonna be seeing reviews on that. 
on TG and my personal channel, Amazon. They, they want me to do a few reviews on, on different websites, you know. It's not like they're paying me or anything, but, you know, they will continue to probably send me all their newest products to try out. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm making a relationship with, you know, another, you know, company. You know, I'm not getting paid for it, but I want to test out their shit because I live stream all day. And most of the software I use is capture software. So we're going to see what happens with that. Pretty cool, though. Yay. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Thank you for supporting. Once again, uh, Guild Wars 2 beta sign up. I'm going to put the link in the description below. You guys will be able to read that. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys at the live stream today, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be there. Let's hang out. Just have some fun. We're going to do like Molten Core with the fans. We're going to do uh, Raid Finder on my Kel'Thuzad Warrior tank with the fans. Um, as we all know, Tally's HD Gaming, we're about fan interaction. We're about chat interaction. We're about talking to the people, you know, not caring about, you know, who's in my Skype channel, whose vent I'm on, you know, uh, like, I don't sit there and just ignore my people all day, you know, I talk to them, I try to interact with them as much as I can, when it's raid time, it's business, afterward, back to the fans, peace out, boom, aquí estamos en Telemundo, en Tauli contra el mundo, en Twitch.tv, Slash, because I don't know how to say slash in Spanish. Tauli.